Hi, hello, and how are you? How is you? How is life? Hope everything is fine. Today's video is going to be about WikiHow. I got inspired to do this video because of Danny Gonzalez. He has like a little series of reading weird WikiHows. If you don't know what WikiHow is, it's basically like a how-to article of how to do something, like how to do like your hair, how to do your makeup, how to do, you know, certain tasks. It can be pretty helpful, but there are some weird ones out there. Danny did one where it was like about someone being possessed or pretending to be possessed. That video really was what sparked this one and I thought I want to do one as well but this one isn't as like crazy as uh, the possessed one. This one's more just like why did anyone write this and who wrote this? This is obviously not written by a child. It's written by a grown adult. Hopefully not a male adult who wrote this article. But who knows? Who knows who wrote this article? It could be like an eight-year-old caveman in a dungeon somewhere. Who knows? How to be a cute girl in middle school. Now, keep in mind, this has been recently updated. November 2nd, 2019. Who is updating this? Here's a little summary for you. When you're in middle school, it's natural for you to want to put your best foot forward, to be cute. It's important to have good personal hygiene, to be nice to others, and embrace your own personal style. There are also ways to embrace your cuteness. You can smile lots. You can smile lots. You can smile lots. You can smile a lot. Put together cute outfits and stay away from gossip. Period. If you want to be cute, stay away from that gossip girl. Number one, looking cute. Maintain good personal hygiene. You don't have to be cute to do that. That should be like a thing that everybody does is try to like clean themselves. Maintain personal hygiene. To look fresh and clean, make sure you shower and wash your hair regularly. Wash your face with facial soap of your choice. Thank you for letting me pick the soap that I want to use when um, I'm looking cute. Thank you. Number two, choose a cute hairstyle. <laughs> your hair is an important part of your look. Important? I don't think that is true. I think cleaning yourself is probably the most important part. If you spend a few extra minutes choosing a cute style, it will take your look to the next level. You're gonna be the cutest one in the class. You're gonna be a little, mm, you're so cute and small. Oh, I just love you. If you have long hair, use a clip to pull a section of your hair to the side. Hell yeah. Shorter hair looks good with waves or curls in it. You don't have to have long hair to be cute. Number three, picking clothing in pastel or prints. Make sure you have a freaking dinosaur print because you will look real cute with that. Pastels and colors such as pink, blue, and purple look cute. And prints like polka dots, animal print, and stripes create a cool outfit. That is not what we're trying to do. We ain't trying to make a cool outfit. We're trying to make a cute outfit. I don't want to be cool. That's a whole different wiki how is how to be cool. I bet they have that as well. But I'm not trying to be cool. I'm trying to be cute. I'm trying to look nice for all the sixth grade boys with their cute neon shorts. Okay, I'm 18. I cannot say that. Okay. Choose tops, bottoms, and dresses that you're comfortable in and that you think look good on you. Just make sure you stick to your school's dress code. Yeah, you gotta look cute, not trashy. Here we have a picture of a very stylish outfit, if I do say so myself. Don't know what kind of kicks those are, not loving them, but the outfit, kind of cute, I would wear. Put effort into your outerwear and shoes. You can't just have a nice outfit and then have really bad shoes because then the whole look is off. You're not cute. Sorry, it's just works. <laughs> Put effort into your outer clothes and shoes. For your outerwear, try wearing jean jackets, soft sweatshirts, or jackets with a design on them. Choose shoes that are practical for school, such as sneakers, boots, or sandals, which I'm pretty sure most schools don't let you have sandals, but I don't know because I'm homeschooled and have been for the last like four years, so. <laughs> if you already have a jean jacket, you can decorate it yourself. No, no one can help you. It's a DIY. Nobody can help you, only by yourself. And they give you like a nice little link on how to like decorate a jacket too. Thank you. Thank you for that. I love this picture she's going. Do you like my makeup actually? I wore makeup today. It's not a lot, but do I look cute? Thank you. Wear minimal makeup if desired. Okay, what if I want to wear like a lot of makeup? Like just 
heavy on like drag makeup. If your parents and the school rules allow you to wear makeup to school, it can be a great way to boost your confidence or cover up any imperfections. That's the key word there, imperfections. Cover up that nasty zit near your lip, Eliza, because if not, you're gonna be ugly and nobody will think you're cute. Just make sure that you're using makeup to advance the cute features you already have, not make you look like an entirely different person. What if I want to look like the Grinch when I go to school? That's just not allowed. I'm not allowed to look like the Grinch when I go to school. Okay. Choose makeup that's alright for your skin tone. Yeah, but that's not always that easy. Trust me, it's not. Okay, this image right here has me hella confused. Where did they get those earrings? I want those earrings. Those earrings look just amazing. The the bracelet necklace thing, not my thing, but the earrings hook me up. Where did the, where did they get those from? Number six, accessorize your outfits. Accessories will make your outfit look put together and complete. If you love jewelry, try to wear one to two pieces of jewelry with each outfit. Number seven, invest in cute school supplies. Even though we're in middle school, we have no sorts of income. Make sure, period, that you get some cute school supplies or else you're not gonna be cute. If you have a black binder, a white folder, <laughs> that's not cute, sis. Make sure you get the good stuff from like Victoria's secret when their backpacks are like $150. Accessories don't just have to be for your outfit. Accessorize with your school supplies as well. Buy a cute backpack. Use personalized pencils or decorate your own notebooks. Your school supplies show off how cute you are. Are. It's not enough. It's never enough. I want to be cuter. Number eight, personalize your school uniform if necessary. If you have to wear a school uniform, make sure you're the cutest freaking at the school. You know, every guy likes a cute studded belt because apparently, if allowed, wear unique belts or sweaters over your uniform to personalize your outfit. Every guy loves a nice belt. It's the cutest thing. Every girl's gonna be like, your belt is so cute. You're the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Puppies? No. Cats? No. Your belt? Adorable. Cute, fashionable, beautiful. I love you, sis. You are so different than everybody else. Now we're kind of steering away from the outfit. We're getting into more having a cute personality, which is pretty much just a fake personality because nobody is like optimistic all the time. Number one, have a positive attitude. I should be working on that if I want to be like the cutest thing in the world. Thinking positive thoughts will make your inner and outer personality shine. If you're feeling sad or having negative thoughts, replace them with positive ones. How could you feel on the inside reflects on the outside. So stay positive to show everyone the cute, happy side of you. That is the worst thing that they could probably say. Middle school was like the most hormonal time of my life. Probably for anybody who's doing it right now or have experienced it, there's no way of trying to have like the most perfect personality. You know, just replace, replace your negative thoughts with positive ones. That's not how the world works. You shouldn't try to force your sadness to no longer be sad. You should work out your problems and then overcome your sadness, not replace them. I'm sorry, I overthought it, didn't I? So I skipped a few and now we're on number five. Stay true to yourself, but... If you're spending all of your time trying your hardest to be cute, you're not focusing on your true self. There's no perfect way to be cute, so find ways to enhance your personal cuteness and always be yourself. Okay, then don't say that the person should try to be happy. I don't know, I feel like this is a contradiction to like the other statement that they said, but okay. For example, you don't need to wear dresses just because you've been told they're cute. If you love wearing pants, wear pants. There are tons of ways to turn pants into a cute outfit. Are we living in the 1950s? Who says that? Dre only dresses are cute. Who is this? is this written by an old man? He just found out that pants are cute. Women who wear pants are cute. Like he just figured out that women's women can wear pants too and look good. Interacting with others. Number one, smile often as possible. 
even if it's non-genuine. A smile will automatically transform your face, making you look happier and friendlier. Try to smile at everyone, whether you know them personally or not. Smiling will automatically help improve your mood and make you feel happier. I smile a lot when I cry. Like, I, I like laugh when I cry. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I don't know, like when I feel really awkward, I will cry and laugh at the same time. And I... I think someone wants to get in here. Okay. Well, someone wanted to join. Number two, be polite. No matter who you've been talking to, friends, teachers, or other peers you don't know, use your best manners and show respect. This can be simple as making eye contact with people when they're talking to you or saying please and thank you. Okay, now this is like the same thing with the hygiene thing. This is just like being a person. This is just like a trait that you should already have. It shouldn't be cute. Saying please and thank you isn't cute. It's just having manners and common sense. Last one. Number five. Be a friend to everyone. Everyone. Every single person in the United States of America. In the UK. In Australia. Be friends with everyone. Even prisoners. They need love too. Cute girls don't just hang out with their best friends. Being kind to everyone not only makes people like you, which is, you know, very important, but it makes you feel good as well. While it's great to say hello to people in the hall, simply smiling and being yourself when people approach you is great too. I mean, being friends with everyone can, I, I would think, would get pretty exhausting. As someone who only has like two friends, that's already pretty exhausting. Being friends with everyone, that's like a whole lot of listening to that I personally could not could not deal with here is the last little helpful tip uh, if you want to be friends with everyone. If one of your classmates is struggling in a subject, offer to help them. Learn the material by starting a study group. Hey, I've noticed that you have no friends and well, <laughs> me either, but, but, but uh, I wanted to do like a study group because I saw that you were struggling, like <laughs> you have a 98 in science, like come on, you're <laughs> not that intelligent. So let's start a group. Hmm? Thank you. Please thank you. I'm smiling at you right now. You just have no idea. Thank you. That was it. That was that beautiful wiki how information that we all needed and we've all learned uh, to appreciate and take in so much new information that we totally didn't know before. And now all of us can finally be cute middle school girls. Doesn't matter what gender you are, doesn't matter if you're in high school or you're 98 years old, you are in fact a cute middle school girl now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's pretty different than the videos I have been filming. I wanted to do something fun and dumb. So we did something fun and pretty dumb. Here are last week's shout outs, by the way. I always do two different shout outs. If you want to be shouted out in my next week's video, please read the pinned comment and comment on the pinned comment to have a chance to be featured in my next video. Anyways, guys, I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye!